Hello kindergarten and welcome to art class. Today we have a super exciting and new type of art making technique we're going to do. So if you have markers, you can make paint out of them. If you don't want to use water and or you don't have any paint brushes or maybe an adult isn't around to help you, you can easily do this project with just markers or any crayons that you have. It'll still turn out beautiful, but if you want to experiment by adding water to washable markers to create a new kind of paint, then get these supplies ready to go. I have a cup of water, a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can use Q-tips. I'll show you that here. And I also have a napkin to hold all that water. I also have my washable markers. Crayola markers work really, really well or any kind of washable, but it's very important that they're washable. And I also have a permanent marker. These can also be Sharpies. This just means that when I add water, this isn't going to get blurry, but those markers will get blurry. So here is my art piece. You might notice it's a whole bunch of letters. And you have some numbers hidden around here too. Today we're putting our letter writing and number making to the test. And we're looking at the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. On the link on the Seesaw assignment, you can see that we can read along that Chicka Chicka Boom Boom story first, and then you can click on back to this video and watch as we create the art together. But just to recap, the biggest piece of inspiration we're pulling from Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, the book, is when the letters were all up in the top of the tree and they all fall out in a pile. When they're all sitting on top of each other in that heap or the pile of letters, that is our inspiration. All of those letters and sitting next to each other and on top of each other, we're going to recreate. Artists, just like Jasper Johns, create artwork inspired by letters and numbers. Take a look at these examples. Look at all those colors. Look at how numbers and letters are the biggest focus of these art pieces. Awesome. So now let's move on to the fun part, the art making. So I'm going to replace my art piece, so that's our finished goal, with a regular piece of paper. My paper is nice and um, flat. It is sitting on a surface that is okay if it gets a little messy. See how I have a little mess over here? So you might want to put down some paper or maybe take a moment to make sure that you are on a surface that can clean up really easy. We are going to practice our alphabet. Kindergartners, I have talked to your teacher. I hear that we are writing phenomenally. So let's pick up our pencil. I'm gonna draw in marker so you can see it better, but you can start by using the pencil and we're going to pretend that all the letters from that tree in Chicka Chicka Boom Boom have fallen on the ground and they're starting to pile up. So let's create kind of a jumbled mess of letters starting with the first one, the letter A. So kindergarten, as we draw our letters piled up, you can do capital or lowercase. This is called abstract art, so it's going to all look very different. Just do whatever style you like. So we start with A. Mine is kind of laying on the corner. Our next one is B. C. Oh, I'm going to make this one bigger. D. Maybe I want to do a lowercase e. I'll do it over here. Now you can probably sing the alphabet in your head as I make this, but see how I'm just making a pile of them and they're going to flow over here. If you don't want to do the alphabet, maybe now that I'm at F, I can start to spell something. Or maybe I'll spell your name. Be creative and use as many different letters as you can fit on the page.
maybe I want to flip my paper. So if I rotate it, I can start to draw numbers the other way. All right, so now I drew my last letter Z. I want to add some numbers. So I'm going to fill in the cracks. Maybe I'm going to go inside of shapes and put my numbers. So four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I'll put a little zero over here. So now I have a jumble pile of all my letters and my numbers. If yours doesn't look like this, or maybe you drew small and you need to make more letters, just make sure that your whole paper is filled with letters. Even if you have a lot of the same letter, because maybe that's your favorite letter, that is totally fine. Now, if you drew in pencil, take this moment to pause the video and outline it in the permanent marker. Remember to go slow. Don't get your permanent marker on anything that will stain and try not to get it on your fingers. It'll wash off, but it'll take a while. All right, if you want to marker paint, this is when you get your markers out and ready to go. If you don't have markers and you don't wanna to paint today, you can also use crayons. Crayons are a great way to color this because we're staying abstract, which means that it's going to look basically however you would like there's no right or wrong way um, with your abstract art today. You can use any of your colors, whether it's crayons or our marker painting. For our marker painting, start off with a few colors. I'm gonna start with red. I'm gonna do a rainbow style. And your first step is to get as much marker on the paper as possible because the marker is what's going to turn into paint. So what I do, I don't want to say scribble, but I move my marker back and forth to make big spots of color. And I'm just covering up big sections to make almost clouds of marker. It's okay if you leave white space because when we start to paint, everything's gonna blend in together and make a really nice mixture. I'm just laying color right next to each other. So because I'm doing rainbow, I have my yellow next and I'm just coloring big, big spots. I go right over my permanent marker. My permanent marker doesn't smudge because it is stuck there. While this marker, this washable marker that we're using is going to be blending and turning into a really cool paint. So take your time, cover your whole paper with big clouds of marker color. You don't have to do rainbow. If you wanna just choose maybe two or three colors of your favorite, you can use those. All right, kindergarten, when I look close at my picture, I see white spots and that's totally fine. That's going to blend together. Here is the fun part. This is when we're going to move our markers off to the side and use our water. Remember, make sure you've got a clean surface, that the surface is okay if it gets a little bit wet. As you paint, your paper might curl and get lumpy. That's totally fine. It's gonna flatten out as it dries out, so don't get frustrated by that. I take my paintbrush. I dip it inside the water. I can feel that my paintbrush is drinking up all that water. And I'm gonna start in the corner. And what I do is I rub, rub, rub until my marker starts to activate. It's kind of blurring and mixing with all of that color. I move my paintbrush in a circular motion and I can see that it's turning into paint. So all of my little spots of white are changing color. 
when you get to the other colors, you're going to see that if the yellow is close to green, it's going to turn the yellow a lime green. And my blue that's next to green is going to turn into a turquoise. And I go back and I wipe my brush up a little bit. Since I'm blending, I keep the water on to make these different spots blend together. If you're using a Q-tip, same thing. You might need to use a few Q-tips because these get wet really easy. I dip my Q-tip in and I go over here and I rub, rub, rub. And I can see on the Q-tip and on my paper that it's just mushing all of that marker juice and making it into paint. All right, so see how my paper's getting a little wet and mushy? That is totally fine. That's normally what happens on paper when you're using um, the water and marker trick. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my paintbrush to finish off these last few corners. Try not to rub too hard because you might rip your paper but at the very end, I have a little bit soft, so you might want to let it dry for a minute, painty masterpiece. And that's how we paint with markers. I can't wait to see your creations. If you don't paint today, that's totally fine. I still want to see your Chicka Chicka Boom Boom inspired marker um, creations, even if it's not painted, on Seesaw. So friends, happy creating. Let me know if you have any questions or if I can help in any way as you create today.